I recently saw a post from FCF Tucson that said, if you feel like you're fixing to fold, get to a place where you can be filled. Now, they were talking about the importance of gathering at church, but of course my mind took me on a journey of time off or vacation. I started thinking about how difficult it is for ministry leaders to take time off, and I know it's hard for most Americans to take time off. Culture has put such a demand on results, and so people have this under-the-radar kind of pressure that prohibits time off. And then also their familial patterns in some people. Their families either don't have money or it just wasn't a priority for them or they didn't understand the value of it. And then other people, they just don't make the effort to plan for time off. And then there's others who have such identity issues wrapped up in their jobs and their self-worth won't allow them to take the time off. And then of course, there are others that think that the work will pile up if they take the time off or that they're the only ones that can do the job. I read one scientific study that reported that taking time off increases your chances of getting a raise. It also said that people who took fewer than 10 days off were about 35% likely to get a raise or bonus during a three-year period, while the likelihood increased to about 65% for people who took more than 10 days. Science has multiple studies that show how much our bodies and our minds need time off. I also know that there are folks, especially in ministry, who feel like our jobs don't end. You know, it is truly a calling, not just hours of labor. But I also know that most of you know that scripture does provide a basis for times of restoration. For example, God built cycles of rest into the order of creation, and annual festivals on the Jewish calendar, calendar provided for extended rest and recreation. But then I know on the other end of the spectrum, after the intensity of restrictions due to the pandemic, lines have been blurred from home life and time off and work life for a lot of us. So now, we have life or business coaches and psychologists and even social media influencers touting the need to just take time off for a few months, not work at all, to reclaim or redefine yourself. But let's remember that restoration means the establishment of something more and better than the original. So if rest or restoration is to make one better, what are you getting better for? If not to improve both who you are and what you do. The Bible is clear that if you don't work, you don't eat. So what does it look like for one, particularly in ministry, to take time off? And what's the optimum amount of time to do so? You know, I remember the first time Fred and I took a vacation longer than a week that wasn't just visiting family. We went to Hawaii. And the first week, we argued every day. He could not cope with so much time off, spending so much money, and being gone so long with virtually no contact back home, you know, before cell phones, and his family had never vacationed before. And I'll never forget the night, literally the sixth day in. He sat on the balcony of our hotel room, looking out at the ocean, and leaned back in his chair, breathed deeply, and said, oh, I get it now. He had never in his over 40 years of life experienced what it meant to let go of everything and engage the moment of no responsibility. You know, I remember my dad used to say that it took him one week just to disconnect and shut his mind down, and then the next week was actual vacation. You know, it's great to take two or three days off here and there, a week to go visit family, but we need to be intentional to plan two to three weeks off with little to no social media, little to no content, uh, contact with back home, and no work. I'm gonna go back to that initial post I mentioned. If you feel like you're fixing to fold, get to a place you can be filled. That's what time off should be, restorative. Have you planned your vacation for this year yet? If not, what's stopping you? As my dad used to say, it'll do you good besides what it'll help you. And I'll add, it'll help those you serve.